What is up you guys? When I tell you this video almost did not make the cut, all right? But we are here, we made it. So allow me to introduce our filling ingredients. We have some onions, some shredded carrots, some cabbage, some, what is that? Brown ginger, green onion, and mushrooms. Let's head over to the stove. So on my stove, I have a skillet that has about a tablespoon or so of grapeseed oil in there. I just dropped in my ground ginger, so we're going to mix that up a little bit, get that nice and fragrant before we add our onions next. Now we're going to go ahead and add in all of our onions and give that a nice toss. Next up we have our mushrooms. I believe these are baby bella mushrooms if I'm not mistaken. Whatever kind of mushroom works really. So you can kind of do whatever you want with this filling. So I'm adding the mushrooms in. We're going to give that a toss. Now if your skillet looks a little bit dry at this part it'll kind of moisten up a little bit because mushrooms hold a lot of moisture. So we're going to go ahead and allow that moisture to kind of soak out a little bit until it looks like this. So I'm stirring that up once more just a little bit and now we're going to go ahead and add in our next ingredient which is our cabbage and our carrots. Now this isn't going to take too long. Um, let's go ahead and mix that up. Just a lot of mixing really for this filling part. You guys, like I said, you can add whatever you want in this filling part. This is what's going to go inside of your pot stickers. So if you want to add tofu, if you don't care about it being vegan, you can add some meat in there. Um, yeah, you can pretty much, you know, do some bell peppers or broccoli, whatever you want. Just go ahead and add it in there. So I gave these a nice little toss like this. And now we're going to go ahead and get ready to add our top on because this is going to steam a little bit for maybe about five minutes or so. So once you go ahead and take the top off, it's going to look something like this. So we're going to go ahead and mix it around yet again because it's been sitting there for about five minutes. We don't want anything stuck to the bottom. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and season it. So I'm going to take some black pepper, go ahead and put that in there. Next up we have some soy sauce. If you're gluten free, you can always use tamari for this. Um, I just had some soy sauce on hand so that's what I use but normally I would use some tamari. And this is some hot sesame oil that I got from the Asian market. And yeah, only a little bit of this is going to go in there. I'd say maybe about half a tablespoon or so because you don't want to overboard on this because you know, you might want to slap somebody if it's too hot. So we're going to toss that together. Next up we're going to add in our green onions. And then once that's mixed in, we're going to remove this from heat and allow it to kind of cool a little bit. Now this part might be a little bit tricky, so I'm going to try to break it down for you as best as I can, alright? So I have a small bowl of water and then I have my wrap that the filling is going to go in. So this is my pot sticker wrap. So as you can see with my finger, I'm dipping it in the water and I'm only putting it on the perimeter of the wrap. Then I'm going to take about a tablespoon of the filling, put it right smack dab in the middle as best I can. So now I'm going to take both of the sides, well two sides of the wrap and I'm going to fold it like a taco and pinch it in the middle and start to pinch down the sides. Now the water is going to act like glue. So you want to make sure you pinch it so that the two sides can stick together. I'm hoping that makes sense to you guys. And then I just kind of go back over it and pinch it so I can make sure that it's, it's together. So that way when we fry it, it doesn't fall apart. So it's going to look something like this once you get it pinched. It's really, really easy, but I'm hoping that I explain it right to you guys. I'm going to show you again just to make sure you got it, okay? So it looks something like this when it's all done. Okay, so let's try this again. I'm going to take my finger, dip it in the water, and only put it on the perimeter of our pot sticker wrap. Then I'm going to take about a tablespoon of the filling and put it right in the middle of the wrap.
I'm gonna fold it like a taco, pinch it in the middle to hold the middle together, and continue to pinch down one side, and then gonna pinch down the other side. I'm gonna continue to go over it just a couple times to make sure it's all together. And this is your pot sticker when it's done. All right, so now we're gonna start the frying process. Now you could totally just allow these to steam, but I like a little bit of a crunch factor to mine. So I have about a tablespoon or so of grapeseed oil in the bottom of this skillet. And I'm just gonna start by arranging a few of the pot stickers in here so that they can fry on the bottom. So as you guys can see, they're getting fried and you wanna just leave them there. Once you put them down in the skillet, don't move them because that's gonna mess up the whole thing. Just put them down in there and you want to leave them like this for about a minute to a minute and a half okay so we're just gonna leave them just like this so after a minute or so is up you can obviously tell that they're nice and kind of crunchy on the bottom so what I'm gonna do now is take a little bit of water I'm using just I don't know, a few tablespoons or so. I'm gonna pour it in there, and then immediately you wanna put the top on so that they can steam. So we're doing like a frying and then a steaming, but you could totally just steam them if you wanted, or I'm sure you could just fry them too, but I'm gonna do both. Now, if you have a skillet that has a clear top like this, I prefer that you use that so that way you can kinda see the water bubbles on the top, and that'll kinda give you a good indication of when they are done. You're gonna allow them to steam for about five minutes or so. And then after five minutes, you can see there's a lot less um, water bubbles on there. So you remove the top and they are done, you guys. I want some, I might have to make another batch after I record this. But yeah, so they're done. You just let them steam for five minutes and then they're done. So now I'm gonna take my tongs and as you can see, they're nice and golden brown on the bottom. That's exactly what we want, okay? So I'm just gonna continue to remove the rest of these, but they're perfect. They are absolutely perfect. So yeah, just remove the rest. You're gonna put them on a plate or whatever have you, and then just continue to do your next batch until you're all done. All right, so we all know that pot stickers are absolutely nothing unless they have a bomb dipping sauce. So that's what we're gonna make right now. I'm taking a little bit of grated um, ground ginger and I'm putting it in this glass bowl along with two cloves of chopped garlic and some green onions. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add in some soy sauce. If you're gluten free, you can definitely do tamari. I only had soy sauce though. And I'm doing about, I don't know, a fourth cup or so if you're following measurements. Next up, I have some rice vinegar. Do about three-ish tablespoons. And then last but not least, we're doing some hot sesame oil. If you don't like heat, do some regular sesame oil, but definitely don't skip the sesame oil. <laughs> and then go ahead and give it a nice little bit of a mix up like so. And this is what you're gonna put on the plate with your pot stickers. There you go guys, there are your lovely delicious purtiful, delicious, I already said that, um, pot stickers. They are bomb, and no lie, I could have did a lot better on this plating, but don't hold that against me. Just know that they are the bomb, and I thoroughly enjoyed these, and when I tell you we finished this plate in 10 seconds, that's how bomb they were, all right? Try these out. What's up guys? Thank you so much for watching this video. Really quickly before we go, I wanted to show you guys the pot sticker wraps that I use. I got mine from my local Asian market. So if you go to your local Asian market, for one, they're gonna be a lot cheaper than the regular grocery store. And two, you're gonna have a little bit more of a variety kind of. Now keep in mind, you can buy them circle or you can buy them square. You wanna make sure that you get the circle ones because the circle ones just work a lot better than the square ones. The square ones are gonna throw you off, so just be careful and keep that in mind when you're shopping for your pot sticker wraps. So the ones that I use are by Pecking Noodle Co. And they look like this, hopefully you guys can see it. 
it looked like this and like you can see they were $1.59 so really cheap and these ones just so happen to be accidentally vegan so that's really cool if you are trying to keep this a vegan dish just make sure that when you go to buy your pot sticker wraps that you read the ingredients and make sure they don't contain egg in them because some of the wraps contain egg so that's just a little pointer for you guys um but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video as usual if you did make sure that you like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye